<laughs> oh my gosh! What is happening? What happened? <laughs> Let's go! I don't know, I'm just making up shit now. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> what is up and good morning from Dallas, Texas. We are going to be having a good time today. I'm actually in the area I used to work in, valet parking cars, before I decided to kind of take a pay cut and pursue the dream of YouTube full time. And guess what? We're hanging out with Tanner Fox today. It's going to be our biggest collaboration yet, thanks to a buddy of mine who worked valet parking cars with me. And he's like uh, good friends with Tanner. And anyways, they would go hit the skate park together. It sounds like y'all know Tanner Fox. He's like big in the scooter realm. He's got his own like, I guess you would call it pro model. Uh, he's done so many things over the years. It's like ridiculous to try and even keep track of the man. But I think he's at like 10 million subscribers, 4 million plus on Instagram. I know he recently collabed with one of my other favorite YouTubers, the Strad Man. I see Fishing with Flair, John B, D Almighty, Paul Cafaro. They all like his posts over on Instagram. He's just a super cool dude, and we're gonna have a lot of fun hanging out with him today. And the whole gang, it's gonna be a blast. I think we got like 12 rods on deck. They don't have any fishing gear. I don't believe. <laughs> I don't know if they can throw a bait caster or not, but we're fin to find out. They should be here any time. There goes Colton right there. He's got some new wheels on the whip too. I see a G wagon rolling up. Looks like it looks official out here. What's up, boy? What's going on, y'all? So it's up to you. Uh, what's the plan for the video? Like, what are you thinking? I, I'm not familiar with any freshwater stuff. I so, only fish saltwater. So, okay, so this will be a little bit different. Let's go with uh, just different colored chatter baits all around, man. I think it's okay. it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be right behind y'all. Have at it. No way! Tanner's on, baby! Let's roll! <laughs> oh, you had a good one, bro! I didn't even he get to see him. What happened? <laughs> Let's oh, go! Okay. He unhooked himself. In. <laughs> That's funny. I thought he was still on the hook, but he's in the lake now. That was my first bass. Let's go. Starting off right, dude. Oh, Starting off right. Us. And Maverick already got one, bro. No way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm missing it. They, they did say we got to move to AMG, but dude, security was dope. She said just put it in the garage. Hey, thank you. The coolest security ever. She's like, I'll tell you what. Just pull into the garage and park it at the end of the visitor spot. So sick. Oh, there's a swirl. That might be a fish. Yeah, we were looking, so we're gonna go to Louisiana over Labor Day. We're gonna see Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan. And we wanna do a charter out there, but dude, it's like three grand. It's like it's like two grand for the fee. That's fine, you know. Yeah. Catching some dream shit. But then also like a thousand bucks for fuel. Like to get out there. And I'm like, say what? <laughs> I honestly didn't even know you were like really into fishing. By the way, I'm Weston. I know I didn't really. Uh, Yes, introduce nice myself, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Hey, I appreciate that. So easy to compare ourselves with Tanner, man. I don't think the next big YouTuber is coming from fishing. There's that's a big game. opportunity. Very true. Very big opportunity if you do the right stuff. But like dedicated just fishing, going and catching fish, no. I'll Got him on Colton, baby. Let's ride. Yeah, who knows what that is, to be honest. Maybe they can tell us in the comments what's going on right here. This thing's mutated. There's that intimidation factor when you film with someone who's bigger than, than you. And I get that a lot when I film with... Uh, like the Guggens, which is very weird. Really? I keep talking about them. Do you know of the Guggen yeah. squad or no? Yeah, yeah, I do. Like, all right, cool. Yeah. So it's like, you know, if I film with them, sometimes I get intimidated and I'm like, I don't know what to say. For some reason, I don't get it with you and maybe it's because I like grew up skateboarding. It's just it's a different vibe. Different vibe. different vibe. There we go. Gage is on now, dude. Let's go. Yo, it literally is everyone but me. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with Wesley. He's been fishing all day, but he ain't catching nothing. Put him in shame, man. The boys are killing it right now. I think we're on four or five fish total. Dude, Mav just caught a donkey. Dude, that thing's like three plus pounds. That's a, this is a little city pond. That's a nice, healthy fish. We're new to this, he said. <laughs> Dude! Six? Got one too? <laughs> oh my gosh! What is happening? That was a fatty too. That's like two and a half. I don't know. I'm just making up shit now. <laughs> uh, I just let go of my fish and I swear that was on PB. Biggest bass I ever caught. I thought Tanner had his own camera. What a generous mofo, man. He comes over here and grabs the A7 III for you guys on our channel. Hey, Bill, oh, I'm in the move for Bandito bug. All right. Got to put one on the board even if it is the smallest. <laughs> See you, bud. Got him out of the little pool. Oh no. The rock like ripped my line. It rubbed up against it. Darn, that would have been a crazy catch. <laughs> Yo. Hey, I told him that it said no fishing, nothing about no catching. 
No way. Oh, I saw him hop out. That was a good one, dude. <laughs> dude. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if you're going or not. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's go. That's the third fish of the day, boys. I don't even know how many they caught over there, too. All right, resume tying on the crankbait. Obviously, what Tanner's using is working. He's getting more bites than me, so I'm switching it up to something that they can swim after and chase because that seems to be the game today. Oh, got him. Little dude. <laughs> there we go, little buddy. Thank you. Let's go, dude. What a day. Just getting started, too. How crazy is that? Oh, he hit it like top water. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he hit it right there by the bank. Gage is on two, it's a double up, boys. Closing out the spot with some fish. <laughs> Appreciate you. He said you got your money's worth. <laughs> he was super cool. I had probably two or three. Y'all got me beat for sure. Man, crushed it at spot number one. I think we probably put 15 fish on the bank. That was ridiculous. Security was super kind. I think we're gonna have to make our way to another body of water, y'all. Let's stop for some drinks or something real quick, though. Got a little cucumber lime, some Tito's. I wanna see these guys catch like a five pounder. How crazy would it be to go pond hopping with the boys? Colton, get a five pounder. That'd be insane. Let's, we gotta get five or five plus is the goal. But I'm pretty sure the one I caught over there was the biggest one I've ever caught, so. Really? We got the boat in tow, and we're going to a neighborhood pond, so hopefully we don't just get eyeballed right off the bat, but you know how it goes as a YouTuber anyways. I'll catch y'all at the spot. <laughs> you know. Uh, I think I got us hooked up for this spot. Well, y'all, I forgot my neutral density filter, but I guess the camera's just running on whatever odd settings. Gage just caught one in the corner. I really think the biggest fish is gonna come out of these spots right here, so let me get back to fishing. I literally didn't even have to tell you, like we do with the X Games. <laughs> He knows the thing, bro. Long arm. Hell yeah. I have like ADHD. I, I was in here for the scale and I just pulled out the baits and I'm Me like, too, all right, bro. what happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's first time bass fishing, huh? Yeah, it is. He jumped out the water, too. Like a <laughs> shark, bro. <laughs> it did, it did. Was it as you were like creeping it close to your feet yeah, and just like right last here, second we hit it? <laughs> Insane. Uh, it. Pull away. Pull, yeah, pull it apart. Oh. Look, he'll swim away. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Off into the, the depths. Good go. Ken, bro. Let's Good go. Ken. Good Ken. Ken, what? Ken. Let's go. That was probably your biggest one, that was, potentially. That was, that was my biggest bass ever, for sure. Biggest bass ever, man, for Tanner Fox. Holy smokes, catching Woo! PBs out here. Let's roll. So with this one, check this out. You're probably right-handed. Yeah. Have you used a bait caster before? Uh-uh. You'll be fine. Uh -huh. So you like uh, put your thumb on the spool after you open it. Otherwise, it'll just drop. All right. Right. And let me tighten this up a little bit. It'll make it easier to cast. We might be getting kicked out. Yeah. Okay, good, good to go. Uh, so after you do that, you can you know you can swing it and you just let go with your thumb. Then when it okay. touches the water, you put your thumb on it again because that spool will just keep spinning okay. freely. And then you'll just kind of so crank as it. As soon as it hits the water, I press soon as it, on it. Exactly. This is a oh, release. Oh, that, that. Okay. Now it'll go. I think you did it good. And with this bait, you want the rod to be down towards the water at like a 45 degree angle and you just steady reel it. Perfect. And it's just like swimming and you'll feel the rod vibrating. Thanks, man. Yep. Awesome. And you know it's working if it's vibrating. If it stops vibrating, then there might be like grass on it and you'll have to just kind of whip the rod or you'll, you'll take the grass off of it after you bring the cast in and stuff. Yeah, come on over here. Well, yeah, it, I mean, it's part of it, I suppose it happens, unfortunately, but hopefully we can get him back in the water safely. See what we got. He'll be okay. We got this. Let's get Gage's young buck back in the water. Make sure he swims off. I think he's in good shape. We got that out of there pretty quick. That's why you got to carry pliers. He's cruising. Dope. Sometimes you get them deep like that, man. They smoke it. He wanted it. Dude, Gage is putting us to shame out here. What's going on? He's caught the most over here. All right, dope, I got you. You want the tail to kick. So Colton's actually been tearing him up on something a little bit different. He's not throwing the bladed jig. He's just throwing a straight up swim bait. It's got that underspin, that blade, so it kind of draws him up and looks like multiple fish kind of swimming together. And so uh, he's been crushing it and he's got an advantage because he can bring this through the grass a lot better. So he can fish a little bit lower, like maybe where those bass are and work through it. And the other guys have a blade on the front of their bait. So it's kind of tougher to work through the grass. You got to kind of work around and over it. So kick him butt, dude. So you. As it's going up, it's all good. The weight of the bait's like really carrying it. Then it's kind of falling, but the spool's still spinning really fast. So you can cast it out, then my thumb could be on it lightly right now. That way it's just letting it out nice and smooth as it's on the way down and you won't have it happen again, probably. But yeah, the bait caster's like this style. They're so cool, but it's like, it's a learning curve. Anytime you see that like a pincher's effed up like that, just get it off the hook. Yeah, you just want them to be able to like swim. I really want to see you catch one too, because have you like bass fished a handful or no? No, yeah. You got something fighting? What's it doing? Is it a turtle? It's 
Dude, it, 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 it might be big, huh? No, it's little. Really? Okay. You sure you're not getting deceived? Ooh. He's not that bad, dude. <laughs> Sometimes they swim at you. That's so when you lift them up, just be nice and easy. You <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Is that your six right there? That's, no, that's number four. Okay, 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 all right. I'm a little behind. He said, two? I'm on like two or three. Yeah, I haven't caught that much. Four. Colton's on. You know what? I got the flyers. 800 meter run later. Dude, cranking them. Look yeah, so it, it, can, it could be. No. Are you Ain't kidding no me? I mean, like got a pro, I, got a I got a couple extra days fishing than y'all. This is what he does. <laughs> yeah, what he does. Uh, nice one for Colton. This is my fish, y'all. <laughs> no, yeah, Colton's shit. on another one. Did Maverick get one over there? Who got one over there? Uh, was it Maverick? Dude, he's been crushing it. It was. Yeah, uh -oh. he got one. Maverick's on four then. Heck yeah. Throw her in. Uh, well, Col you want? It's your you fish. It, right? Okay. Yeah. Come on. He's chilling. He's he's just been out of the water for a second. Oh, yeah, he's it. just gonna go. warm himself up. Let's go. Hit the he's gotta warm himself up. Hit Ain't no oh, thing, yay. baby. With the little side yeah. fucking there. Let's go. <laughs> the McTwist, baby. Yeah, the McTwist. <laughs> yes, dude. All in the bushes. Yes. <laughs> I literally was saying, I hope it was you, cause you haven't caught one yet. Yeah. Come That's the first one, dude. Heck yes. Oh god, dang! I got smoked. No, no, no. And on these ones, you don't have to hold the rod at an angle. On this one, you can kind of go straight at it, and then you just yank on it when you feel it bite. There he is. Came back for it. All right, come on, baby. This one's not that bad. Bigger than my last couple. Let's go. All right, back in the game. I think that's like my first fish of the day. Maybe I've caught two. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting this dude go down the stairs here. Thank you for that. That was uh, two hits right there. Oh! We doubled up. I let him go too soon, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Back to back. Colton's cranking them. I think they're out further now that the water's warmed up and the sun is high. So they hide down there where it's a little cooler in the shade. So you got to like draw them up and they'll be, they'll be just swimming behind it slowly. And then when you're getting too shallow, they'll like decide if they're going to eat it or not. And so you'll get that little tick. You'll feel a little dunk and just freaking. Phew. It's going to be a different bite on that bait. It's going to be more subtle. You'll feel a little pull. Sometimes it's grass, sometimes it's not. But like with that chatterbait, you're kind of moving it a little faster. The rod's at an angle, it's got an exposed hook, so they get it and they feel the hook right away. So it's a different bite. What you got? You got him. Dude, you got something, right? Yes. You don't have any more? Crank it, crank it, crank it. He might oh, okay, sometimes they're swimming at you. Dude. Just everybody's hitting each other's faces out here trying to cast. You can tell by the attire, the, <laughs> the heat index has changed, man. <laughs> I think we gotta go grab some lunch. We might hit a little spot and then uh, get out some more. We've caught so many fish now, it's been ridiculous. There's literally a bass in front of all of our feet right now. That thing, is he still there? Almost had him. And Tanner's on another one over there as we're making our way back to the vehicles. This is so nuts. I don't even know how many fish that is total. Hey, <laughs> Got him on. <laughs> Another one before we hit the vehicles, man. This might be the last one. We got the Saucy Swimmer underspin right over here by this aerator. Literally textbook. And I was trying to get my gear out of the way because they're mowing the lawn over here. So I'm like moving my stuff down the hill. I tighten up my line. Boom. Fish on. Let's go. Matt behind the cam on the release. Peace out, bud. Let's go, bro. Oh, he's on. I'm over here getting B-roll of the rod and reel. What's going on? Flip that baby. Yes. That's two by the drain, man. In like two minutes, literally backing me up out here. Look at this Texas giant, baby. All right, y'all, lunch over at Rudy's was fantastic. I think we're closing things out. We caught so many fish today with the whole gang. We're gonna tidy up the boat, go lock her up, and then we might hang out with the gang tomorrow as well. There's a big car show going on in Dallas tomorrow. Lava Cantina's the location, I believe. So maybe you'll see some supercars and some content in the next video. Who knows, maybe we'll get out with Tanner and do some more fishing. 
in a future vlog. Let me know if you'd like to see it. For today, just realizing as we're back at the storage unit that we didn't even get out on the hot tamale today. So we're gonna have to save that for some future content with Tanner and the gang. Everyone's social medias are gonna be linked down in the description. Uh, everyone's got like successful pages on Instagram and YouTube. They're all crushing it on social media, so they will be linked. Also, we might go hit up that crazy car meet. It sounds way bigger than Cars and Coffee, uh, which I used to love going to every single month. But uh, yeah, this one's at a new location. Turns out Will was saying like 40 or maybe 80 different people are rallying from Kansas City uh, in different cars, probably a lot of exotics. And uh, by the way, everyone who's staying with Gage, all four of the guys you saw today are going to be driving a different exotic to the show tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely nuts. I think Gage has like a $15 million car collection if I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video. And also the fishing today. We caught like 40 fish by the end of it. Literally like 40 fish. A lot were off camera, unfortunately. Also, I was grabbing Tanner's camera. He was grabbing my camera. It was just a day, man. We had an absolute blast. I hope you all enjoyed this one. And uh, I guess we're just going to leave it at that. We'll catch you all on the next couple episodes. Maybe we'll throw in some exotic car content. Let me know if you're down for it. Regardless, it'll probably be coming at you. We might take the STI there tomorrow. So, peace, y'all. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs>